everybody for round two of the uh, third Stronghold Conflict event here at 401 Games. Uh, this round we've got uh, Jeff on the left playing a Korean Splash Scorpion, and on the right we've got a uh, dedicated Phoenix player, Will, with a Crab Splash. Now, cra Crab is uh, Crab Splash with Phoenix. That's not something you normally see, right? I rarely see that. that the thing it could suggest to me is a Dishonor deck. For watch commanders, reprieves, etc. Yes, okay. that's the only thing I yeah. can think of. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then, of course, as everyone knows, the crane uh, came out came out on top after the restricted list came out. That's right. Yeah, they, they got hit with almost nothing. So one of the I think the more popular pairings these days with crane is uh, scorpion because. They, they still have access to their full counter spell suite with the Voice of Honor. Voice of Censure. Honor, yeah. Uh, their uh, restricted card is most likely to be, I'm just speculating here with Jeff's deck, but it's most likely to be uh, Policy, Policy Debate. So we'll see. Uh, l last round we had uh, Ronnie with a Crane Dragon deck, and he was running much more aggressive version, I think. But this Scorpion version, now, I'm again, I might be wrong, but tends to to play the long game a little bit better, right, than other versions of... Yeah, so it looks like, well, Ronnie's previous deck, it looked like he was just kind of wanting to keep all his characters around for a while and just keep them not dying to abilities and just get rid of Cloud the Mines so that your abilities can just keep persisting over. So I really like Jeff's sleeves, by the way. These look pretty cool. Are they L5 R sleeves? Or just generic? They almost look custom, actually. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. I like those rings, too. I I can't tell if he's used a silver marker on them or something. You know what it could be, actually? It could be, um, you know those ring covers? I've and never just, seen those. Well, so I think it's one of those, like, protector, like... You know how like there's lids and you put your capsule inside? Because I feel like that might be what this is. So it looks like Will's going first. Very heavy costed play. Wow. So probably we'll start with maybe... I think I like Sukune uh, but it doesn't as much trigger any as possible. Shugenja cards though. Did you see a bunch of Shugenja cards in uh, yeah, like, this hand? Well, usually the Phoenix deck runs a right. bunch of like... What do you call it? Uh, against the way, supernatural storms, you know, things like that that just abuses Shigenja being in play. However, the only thing I can think of is Shiba Sukune, like, you don't really need to do a lot much uh, of work yes. after playing her, and she gets her value, especially against Crane that tends not to run Cloud yes, the Mines. That's correct. That being said, Jeff did play an Asahina Artisan, which is a Shigenja. So if he did, if he was running Cloud the Mines. Oh, the Mines! <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, wow. Okay. So Jeff wants to do a swarm. Oh, we took a look at uh, Jeff's uh, restricted card, actually. actually. Yeah, you got a peek there? I got a peek. It's actually a forged edict. It's a heavy control list, then. So it must be, I'm going to speculate, two fate and two uh, forged edict. Fate worse than death and two forged edict, maybe? Oh, for the splash? Yeah, that sounds about right. One. Wow. Jeff really likes his hand, so he doesn't even bother going up. The the lone card that Jeff drew there was an assassinate. It's not gonna be very useful against Sukune. No, but oh I see the cloud of mine. On Will's side? On um, Jeff's side. Oh he is running Cloud of Mine. It's yes. hilarious. Oh, see? Will also has a cloud of mine, but it doesn't do anything because well, Shiba Sukune. The thing is, there, there isn't a lot of uh No, there's no character. Targets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I feel like Jeff might want to go... Well, we'll see if Will attacks first. Do you think Will would probably attack? I mean, I took a look at Will's hand. It looks like he might have a skirmisher he's trying to think about playing. Yeah. He could probably just go like a no, like a lone like, military conflict, maybe? Oh, just a poke? Just a poke. Excuse me. Now. Yeah, because one, one of the worst things is you don't want to run into um, 
shameful display with Sukune. No. So no. Maybe that's why you want to poke first with the yes. Aruba I like that. Yeah. So reaction covert. Now we get in a target for assassinate, which is nice. I don't know if I want to assassinate. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to assassinate um, a skirmisher after it's done its attack. You know. Oh, can't participate. <laughs> Let's check it. Rally to the cause. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's actually pretty good for <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh my God. Rally to the cause. I've seen increasingly more and more a. Um, it's a province people put in their robe as opposed to their stronghold now. Yes. Yes. That's surprising. I mean, I play dragon mostly, and that's normally the de facto uh, stronghold. That, sorry, stronghold province that you put. But very uh, worked out for him here. Now I'm just curious as to what Jeff has in his stronghold now. Well, the, we'll uh, see. The yeah. very useful cautious scout doing a military earth challenge against public forum. Uh, pretty much the <laughs> the province you want to see as the uh, as a cautious scout. I agree. Easy to break. Maybe maybe Will <laughs> regretting not having a Shigenja to cloud the mind is <laughs> cautious scout. I believe if correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't look like Jeff does ha have enough actual strength to actually break this. No. But it's still I, I, good to know what it is. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't see. I don't think I saw any buffs either on Jeff's side. I don't either. That actually helped out really well for Jeff, finding the relic to the cause there, so he doesn't have to actually use his assassinate to kill the Hiroma Skirmisher. Unorthodox, but paid off. But now, Razu the cause can just be a province just to attack if you don't want to open a nasty province such as uh, meditations or very interesting so I wonder what his province spread is because there's got to be a shape of display there's got to be what is he not using earth maybe uh, that must be it Ooh, that's a good draw voice of honor on Jeff's side? On Jeff's yeah, side, yeah. just needs to find a way to turn it on. And the pull is display of power. Wow, That's a display really of power. Strong. Damn. Wasn't well, going to get played this round, but still. <clears throat> I believe if Will or Jeff does a political conflict here, then Jeff will fire off the... have the enough to court games. So... I feel like... Will will probably not do a conflict feels so bad like I, I get it the, these days it's generally not very good to uh, to aggressively attack turn one especially when you play a very expensive character and like I said before shameful display is still in the mix although I mean with the rally that cause flipped over that that becomes a province you can now farm even if you don't have to break it <laughs> so it, it might be it might be worth Will's while here just to attack it um Maybe maybe force force Jeff to defend so that he doesn't have to attack again. Okay, so it looks like Will actually passed this conflict. Uh, so very interesting. I saw a little bit on. Oh, oops, oops. I saw a little bit on uh, Will's hand. I think I saw a. I think I saw a shape the way. It's a Shugenja cost yeah, reduction. It, it's, uh, it must be a way, a way to help. Um, interesting. I think I would actually forge dig that. So Court Games trying to buff uh, Sukune, but it gets uh, countered. And then <laughs> Jeff follows up with his own Court Games. Oh, my. So now Sukune sitting at a zero strength here. That's a very aggressive... I like it though. Can't do anything to stop it, right? Yeah. I I mean I wonder what he's waiting on. We know we know he can't voice of honor, we know he can't censure. Just gonna have to let so it happen. One to zero. Wow, yeah. okay. I wonder if if Jeff is trying to win the fire ring so he could just honor the politician to honor something else. 
So it goes to three now. Oh, four actually, four. It's gonna be very nasty actually. So the good news for Will is that at least it wasn't the Cautious Scout that broke it. That is true. That is so true. So that uh, library gets to stick around for another turn. Interesting. Chooses to honor the Cautious Scout and not clean off the token off of the politician. You know, one of the things uh, that I'm thinking of is that when you are when you have a savvy politician that's in a dishonored state, you can honor it twice over the course of multiple turns and yeah. get that trigger off. Now, the savvy politician's not going to stick around more than one turn, but, uh, you know, with Jeff right now, with the art Asahina Artisan, he's got plus three political. Yeah, and here comes the cloud the mine. <laughs> as soon as Will was about to go to the, or both players were about to go to the fate phase, oh man, that brutal yep. cloud the mine. And like, as a, as a Phoenix player, you're not going to expect that out of Crab. If I correct what are me the chances? I, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. The only two crane specific, I believe, are storyteller and uh, or, Asahina. Origami Master too is a Origami Master. That's correct. I think he's playing Shogun. Is that is the the counterspell yeah. uh, one? Okay. Is, that, is she a She is. So, uh, Travis was just speculating on... I was not that. Okay. So, yeah, Travis was just talking about the conflict card, the, the scorpion cards in Jeff's deck. And it's... Uh, I don't know, maybe Travis can bring that up on the screen, but it's the uh, Shigenja from the Phoenix Clan pack. The scorpion Shigenja that when it comes to the play counters spell. It almost seems like Jeff's <laughs> deck is tailored to beat uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix decks. That is a very interesting idea. Yeah, that's that's the card we're talking about. Yoko and, uh, ki 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 Kikuyo? Kikuyo? Yeah. Meanwhile, on turn two, we got uh, Kikita Asami coming down on Jeff's side. See, it seems Jeff is uh, Jeff's going for the straight up dishonor strategy here. I like it. I like it. Unfortunate that Will's not, or Jeff is not seeing any character that costs less, so you could just not assassinate it, but that's okay. That just means there's going to be more characters that... I, I think we saw Will playing uh, Phoenix at the Breakout Festival back at Canadian Nationals, and he definitely plays a big guy deck, yeah. And you can see here, Jeff... Definitely going hard in on that uh, dishonor strategy. There was a really good article on Imperial Advisor that came out, I think, a week or two ago, talking specifically about the bid one dishonor strategy. Uh, and uh, I'm definitely seeing Jeff kind of following that that strategy of bidding one early, uh, trying to make it so that you're not pushing to win to break provinces but simply trying to win conflicts with that li as little card use as possible. And then um, thereby mitigating your opponent's turn one high card bid, and then now that they don't have a lot of honor, they can't bid as much anymore, so. That's a very interesting idea, because I'm trying to think of, either your starting hand must have been insane, or why would the, but I guess that makes a little bit of sense when you keep doing that. So it looks like a political air, to the forum again because this is basically what Jeff wants to get rid of because uh, Jeff is bidding low Will, Jeff doesn't want to get Will to get too many cards out of the way to just keep accruing value yeah and Kikita saw me huge in this uh, dishonor strat that Jeff is doing right now if Will doesn't defend he's going to steal an honor from Kikita with Kikita and then take another honor most likely with the air ring if he does defend he's got the uh, Asahina Artisan to buff now do you do you def well you have to defend for sure it's just who are you defending with do you defend with Sh uh, do you defend with Sukuni so you could uh, actually 
it looks like I saw a Benton's touch, so you could re-honor back. But the risk is, Voice of Honor is live. Do you want to waste an action to perhaps lose the token? But, Will could also bait the counterspell so that Will can actually play the event that he wants to play, which is the mountain does not fall. I, I think at this point, you, you just kind of force your opponent to have it. If your opponent's been bidding one a bunch of times, they're not going to have everything. So you just go for it, I think. So I, I think it looks like that's what he's doing. I, I couldn't agree more. Call the bluff, ask, tell them, do you have it or do you not have it? And then go from there. So Will's still in the tank. So, three currently to zero, as we expected. And his touch tries to honor back. So there's a voice of honor. Let's see if Jeff goes for it. Indeed he does. If I was up if I was looking at Jeff's point of view, I would do it as well. 100 percent Okay. So Shizu Katoshi just got used to uh, Bao Sukune. Now, would, in Will's case, would you have perhaps done Mountain first? Because wouldn't Mountain stop uh, it being Bao? Oh no, because it only stops during after resolution. So I corrected myself there. It wouldn't have done what I wanted it yeah. to have done anyway. So yeah, Playing the Mountain does not fall. Yeah, because you probably thought that it prevented from being bowed as well. Like clarity right. of purpose, right? Clarity of purpose is actually the card he wanted to see <laughs> in yes. Will's hand. I figured when I read the card that had three pips worth of influence, I thought it could have done all the things that I was thinking of, but unfortunately, it doesn't stop ring effects or card effects. It's just, right? Because it only stops based on resolution. So he's going to steal an honor using Kikita's ability. Breaks. So he's going to be stealing another honor. Six. Now he's at five. I'm also seeing a very interesting card that Jeff's playing as well, Waning Hostilities. That's the one that uh, you can only declare one conflict per turn. That is correct, yeah. Here's a second try at uh, Humor Skirmisher. <clears throat> Jeff still has that assassination at the ready. Oh, this is going to be really nice because... Jeff's probably going to not defend. No defenders. I would defend with none. Assassinated right away. Yeah, there you go. So that the ring just goes right back, and then the wing is not... Jeff is playing this turn very, like, strategically. Considering how many cars Jeff has in his hand, his starting hand must have been incredible. Right? Yeah, I think... And I now... Think... Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Basically, Will has such a low honor pool that he cannot even play his own copy of Assassinate. And you were saying? Yeah, his hand must have been... He, he must have... Uh, based on the strength of his hand, I think he decided to go for that Dishonor strategy right away. And it's been paying off for him. So, Kasha Scout. Doing what a Kasha Scout does. <laughs> Yeah, nice. shame, <laughs> shameful display of the flop. That's uh, incredible. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe Will just goes for it. Maybe he just decides to say, screw it. Yeah, here comes the assassination. Uh, he's going to go down to two honor. Super dangerously low. I mean, that's that's the kind of thing that Kakita Azami can just burn you out at the end. But uh, we do know that Will still has that cloud the mind in his hand. And he's probably going to uh, use that at some point to try to blank Asami. I mean, I didn't really think that Will was going to actually use the assassinate there. But, okay. So imagine. Th yeah, go ahead. So, imagine if Jeff actually did send both uh, Artisan and uh, Cautious Scout in, then it would have been able to. Which I really like. Is it called Shape the Way? No, Walking the Way. Yeah. So if you control a Shigenja uh, character, it costs free, basically. You get to look at the top three cards and uh, 
of your dynasty. I think you get to replace them. I think it was. Yeah. So I really like that card in this deck because you're going to be using a lot of cards to because there's high cost of things as well so you could always try to filter air quote filter and just selectively keep so Tadaka turns off the cancer where it's still going to be central voice of water and heat it for that that is right yes yeah so uh sad stug is asking charge restricted for phoenix I don't think we've seen the restricted card yet on Will's side, or have we? I have not seen it yet, no. Because they're, we haven't seen it against the Waves, otherwise Will would have played it right then and there. So this is a very interesting turn where I think Jeff is probably trying to gonna bank on doing an air conflict again this turn and try to win it that way. Now, Will is probably gonna be now then forced to play Cloud of Mind to stop the. Alright, so initiative passes over to Will. Um, Will might have to do an, a defensive air ring attack just to deny it from Jeff. But the problem now is that unless Will uh, cloud the mines Kikita Azami, between Asami's ability and Sukune going away at the end of the turn, that's two dishonor or two honor lost. So he's gonna have to he's gonna have to identify that indeed it's Asami that's gonna have to be cloud the minded here. Doji representative, great poker. The more and more I keep playing with Crane, I'm very impressed with Doji Representative as well. Just because you you just attack into a province that does certain things and then you could just say, I'm out of here. A really good rally to the cause target. You just go military first and then you run back home and then you do a political attack after. I, I feel like it, it's, it was basically designed as a unicorn card. <laughs> and then they, they, they like color switched it to Crane. It, it just doesn't make any sense in Crane in my opinion. Like it just seems so much like a unicorn card. So Savvy Politician, the pass, the bids are probably going to be one on Jeff's side most definitely. And uh, Will I think is forced to bid one as well. Oh my goodness. Jeff drew awaiting hostilities oh, to wow. only do one conflict. Which... He has not played a copy yet, so yes, he can do it. Now, Jeff also drew from his one a way of the creek. Nice. Which is going to be very helpful. Now, would you... You have to cloud the mind Asami, right? Yeah, without you a doubt. To. Unless you can somehow draw Asami into a military conflict and get her bowed that way, then uh, if you're thinking as well, if you're thinking at all of doing a political conflict, then... Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, cloud the mind Asami. So interesting thought that Jeff wanted to use a. Uh, my apologies, a uh, waiting hostilities there is such a great idea because Will was probably hoping to do two conflicts where he does an air attack first and then tries to do a fire conflict to try to rehonor. Uh, so, uh, Sukune. Sukune, thank you. Or honor a prodigy of the waves to like neutralize the honor. But now that Jeff played a uh, waiting hostilities, Jeff just either defends everything to make sure that the ring doesn't go through. Now I will mention, I think, because I think you and I both forgot that uh, Benton's touch is still in uh, Will's discard pile. So with the use of his stronghold, he can do that as an emergency button. So, uh, as long as Will realizes that, he's not quite dead on board just yet. But we're going to see in a minute exactly what his first conflict is going to be. I would, I would, knowing Will's hand, as we saw a little bit, he will probably go military because Jeff's current military force is very low. But the problem is, if Will commits too many characters into this conflict, then Will... Will will have enough to protect against Jeff's onslaught of political stats. Yeah, it looks like looks like you're right, Sungo. He's gonna do military. 
I don't like that. Earth? Okay. Now, if... Water. Which is very interesting, because if Will did go for water, why does he not attack... Oh. You... I believe... Will's probably going to do the ability to do the Bentis touch during this conflict. And then if he wins the ring, because if Jeff does defend enough, the ring is going to be claimed by someone so that it will ready. I see. Now I see now. So Jeff with only two card, two looks like two or three cards in his hand, deciding if he wants to defend this at all. Um, if he, yeah, he's he's choosing not to defend. Doesn't seem like it's a, it's something he needs to fight over anyway. Oh, this is great too because all of Jeff's characters have fade on, so the ring doesn't affect Jeff. But Will is probably going to be using his own exactly as we saw a Bantus touch. Yep. To honor. By ready, exactly. So he, he uses the Benton's touch to ready to Daka, which is interesting. That I guess the um, the stronghold was going to break anyway. Sorry, yeah, the province was breaking anyway. I would have thought the better play would have been to use it to prevent Sukune from <clears throat> making Will lose another honor. Oh, that is true, yes. So... Jeff should be losing an honor in front of post. As we participating here. Oh, is it? Okay. Thank you. My, Travis just pointed out that Benton Touch is participating character, so he couldn't do it on Sukune. So, yeah, Potato the First mentions in chat, this is a good example why you don't play Sukune turn one. Uh, we, we, we talked about it earlier in the match. It's a calculated risk, but I think on Will's side, he thought that it was acceptable because generally, Crane doesn't play Cloud the Mind. And if they do, it's not like, as likely as other clans that they're going to have a Shigenja on turn one for that reason. So as we highly suspected on what Jeff was going to do, he's doing a full <laughs> political onslaught to whatever province this is going to be, a Manicure Garden, sure, no problem. He just didn't want it to be in meditation the other time. This is nasty. Manicure Garden, Air Ring. This is going to force Will to defend. And even if he does, it's it's going to be... Uh, I'm not sure what uh, Will's going to be able to do to stop uh, himself from losing another honor with Shiba Sukune. All I can see from my side is Will could probably go up to three, five, five political with using a supernatural storm, but he can't be using the, uh, the stronghold anymore because he already had to use Mentis Touch that way. So, I believe as defender action, start with a fate. I mean, there's really not much other. So, it's three to. Or, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to three. Yep. So now, I believe Jeff will probably use a wave of the crane to honor. Interesting. Sends the Doji representative home because it's, I guess. Jeff doesn't actually want to break and run into a, another province that might be helping uh, Will out. Right. So, so it's... I wonder why he did that. I think he realized he had more than enough to, uh, to break. It's just hedging his bets, I guess. But he's going to lose that honor. So now, uh, that was... Because of waning hostilities, that was the only... Yeah, Imperial Favor as well. I don't know if it's going to be relevant, though. Yeah. Because now the Imperial Way is going to go back. Yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, Sukune losing that last honor. Yeah, with that yeah, dishonor. I, I don't think he saw it. 
Yeah, and now he's realizing, oh, wait a minute. So, waiting yeah, no hostilities. Way to keep it. Yep. So, unfortunately, I think Will should have done is attack with Sukuni, not win the ring. Just go for some sort of fate and just bend and such to honor it. I'm surprised that, yeah, yeah. I think the mistakes of using, yeah, so I believe Jeff is talking to Welby. Maybe we should have honored Sukuni instead. Now, very interesting, but as Potato did state that. That flaw. When it was two Prodigy of the Waves, a Forgotten Library, and a Sukuni. Yeah. So, like, even if that was the best character to play at the time. Right. So, I get it. It's probably not a good idea to play Sukuni turn one, but we, we'll. I don't think he would have expected a cloud of mine <laughs> from Jeff's side. So, uh, good one on Jeff. Uh, good to see you. Uh, yeah, that was well. very fast as far as Dishonor goes. Like, Dishonor Crane strategy. Now, uh, I'm curious as to whether that's his main strategy or if that was just something, an opportunity that presented in itself uh, based on his hand. But either way, like, really tight play by Jeff. Uh, really excited to see... Um, Crane doing so well in the no the new post restricted list meta. So that's the end.